Hello everyone to a new YouTube video by me, Daft Daft Building. Today I will show you three versions of a classic, how a noob, a veteran and a chat build their 2 by one Now to the noob base tour. As you can see it is built very inefficient, wasting a lot of resources and space while not even being nice to live in. But how do you build such a base? Well let's begin with the nice things about this base. It can be expanded from a 2 by one starter. That's about it. I will fill in this core as it will be in the later stages. Don't ask me how to expand to this, I don't know, I'm just as confused by the space as any of you. As you can see it is very inefficient and annoying to live in because of the floor directly next to the entrance requiring you to crouch inside of your core. Expanding out here we will add a very inefficient jump up as well as a very bad and way too big entrance. Going up the jump up we will let in the second story like this fully made of metal and fill it out very careless and inefficient. If you wonder who designed this base, it is one of my friends. He is very bad at building and he is the person I designed the solo 3x3 for. We are now gonna upgrade most of the base to metal. Honeycomb goes around the core like this. So let's go to the veteran version. As you can see this is very similar to the noob version but with subtle improvements that make the base so much better. The honeycomb is set better and the loot rooms are used more efficiently and the base is designed more efficient in general. Now to how to build this base. You can begin with the normal 2x1 starter. You can place down your early game items any way you want. I won't be showing you an example here because I don't think it is that important. Here I will show you the goal version of the 2x1 core that you should work towards. This is my example of a design. If you want to make it easier to access or more efficient go ahead. Once you have more materials you can expand. Here I will build your regular elevator setup but you could use a furnace or a ladder hatch instead. Now I will add in the second floor which you can customize any way you want. I will here be adding in a furnace as well as another loot and utility room. This can be done anytime you want but now we are gonna add the front entrance with an airlock as well as windows to see our surroundings. If you have seen my video on entrances you might remember that I like drop boxes. If you want them in the space you can put them either behind the second door or under the jump up to the second floor. Now to even out our rate cost from doors to walls we are gonna add a layer of stone honeycomb around our 2x1 core. Now we begin with the chat version. As you can tell the space is floor stacked, has a shooting floor and is super efficiently built using all space. It also has some unique things like usable honeycomb and an unlootable TC. Another thing you can do here is put a window behind the tier 3 with a locker in it. Then instead of upgrading the walls outside to stone make them metal. But how do you build it? First look for a good spot. It should be flat so the floor stacking can be done easily. We are gonna begin with floor stacking. If you can't do it freehand here I will show you Evil Wrist's easy version to perfect floor stacking that everyone can do. First you will place down two square foundations with a ramp on one of them. A small box goes down like this which will allow you to just move to the left and then down from the ramp to create perfect floor stacking. A more in-depth guide on this will be linked in the top corner in the description. You can do this little track if you have done floor stacking correctly. Now to lock down the area where you wanna build so you can't get griefed we will instantly put down our TC behind a single door but make sure to place the TC to the right. 
Our floor stacking is not yet in the correct position, so we will build this foundation over to the top right of our TC and upgrade the foundation to stone. Here you can expand into the actual 2x1, but the wall next to our TC door will be a window and opposite to that we will have a double door frame. Of course you probably won't have reinforced glass window, at the moment you can build in the window like this. This is the goal you should have for your core, I made a mistake here, the wall opposite to the TC should be armored. In front of our current entrance add another triangle with double door frames on both sockets. Now we will also add in the double airlock entrance. Here we will add in the jump up to our shooting floor, which will look like any other jump up you saw me building on this channel. As you can see there's a gap in our entrance, this isn't an accident, here we will add in a floor stacked foundation. To do that we will have to build out the foundation on the back of the base towards the front. There we will cover it in with windows and add some extra storage that can be used for drop boxes. Now we will add in the honeycomb, although the walls might be stone, the foundations should be metal in order to cover up for the fact that our internal foundations are also metal. Don't forget to upgrade these floors to metal, because they will later give stability to our floor stacking. Cover in the second floor any way you want, if you want you can even add peak downs, this is just how I would do it. As always add anything into these windows what you want, I will be putting in window bars because they are the cheapest which is important for such a small base. Now upgrade the floor above the loot rooms and the TC room to armored and add a second layer of floors made of metal on top. This was the video, thank you all for watching, don't forget to subscribe, until next time, later.